This is my review on Glass from 2019, I believe. That's the third and final, fully finally summoned the franchise that Shyamalan somehow financially had the money for. And did it and then make sense? Not exactly. And I guess zero out of ten because you know they decided to throw a t plot twist involving the Illuminati, and I'm hinting at the Illuminati or mentioning Illuminati. Was well, some it's basically some sort of exciting. That's not exactly Illuminati, but basically you're supposed to be a little bit embodying as some sort of Illuminati, even with the deep blah blah blah. That's been controlling everything and why keeping the huge these two power humans are the heroes of the secret of villains, you know, blah 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 blah. It takes off pretty much right where the split ended on. And you know how the split ended on a cliffhanger, a cliffhanger which was also a twist that didn't make sense. In hindsight, but clearly it was just the devil because someone wanted to be in there, right? Right. We can agree with that split did that. And we can also agree that the that the fact that the fact that the the uh how he shot the uncle as a pedophile was his niece was absolutely fucking hysterical, and he was shot, and he decided to treat those things more like comedy than actual serious events. We can agree on that, right? Right. <laughs> and that gets a zero out of ten too. Split in glass. Both do. That's my review on both films. And this is my review on the one that said, oh, Unbreakable is fine because I feel broken after watching Unbreakable. <laughs> because he decides to steal everything good idea from Richard Donner's Superman first installment. Theatrical cut of the film. I can argue they steal the exact premise. Except the only difference is pretty much is that he has a more retarded soup than Superman looking. A raincoat! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> As a superhero costume. And it doesn't even change once he gets to glass when she sees Bruce with a remit. Re re reunite with Bruce's character. I will say Glass and I'm Split do have good acting, but the story... God, it makes sense once you bring in the twist. It's a twist. It's, a, it's not a twist. It's a plot because the twist doesn't build up to any... It, it, it nothing builds up to the twist like, like it did in Sixth Sense. Granted, I hated Sixth Sense, but at least something built up to that the twist. To justify the twist, it was a very predictable twist, and I saw a coming twist. Same goes with Unbreakable. The twist was expected. I expected the twist. Saw it coming my way. Once he, once I saw Seymour Jackson's character, I saw it. Wait, he's the bad guy, isn't he? And this whole film is this stealing a lot from Christopher Reeve's Superman. I hope he's, uh... Not rolling in his grave, Shyamalan, if because you did that. To be honest, the only reason why this is called Unbreakable is because you couldn't call it Superman. Is that why? Maybe that's a little bad for him because, you know, he pretty much sucked at anyone to thinking that these movies were good. The, 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 his movies were good with Six Sense and Unbreakable. So the only so oh like guess like get this the big oh here's a big and this the biggest difference as I know is that he loves to use tint the feeling tint the movie into purple land every scene in purple you know instead of a natural looking color and uh, these films are stupid fucking awful. Unbreakable gets a 0 out of 10, too. It's best. It all gets 0 out of 10s. These ones are fucking torture. 
the not fun, the not imaginative in the good way, the not absurd in a good way, the just so stupid, 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 bad, stupid. Not the good, fun kind of stupid. No, it was the it was the boring, lazy asshole stupid that feels like it was made by all three of these films. Which is sad. I can't show him it's not a not a lazy asshole. So why does he make his film into lazy asshole products? It feels like it makes him feel like that. So many of them. All th this trilogy gets a zero. This is the worst trilogy I've ever seen. In franchise I've ever seen. That made more than one movie. And I feel very sick to my stomach. Thinking about and talking about these reviewing these movies. Come to think of it. I feel broken. The opposite, unbreakable. Oh, well, I'm glad he feels the franchise is called the unbreakable franchise because it's kind of funny because I feel broken. <laughs> Especially after seeing the first one. <laughs> Kill me. Someone help me. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know why I was laughing just now. I think I was laughing because I feel broken from these movies and of the Unbreakable trilogy. I just feel wiped out. Alright. Bye bye. These get 0 out of 10, this trilogy does. All three films. Individually. And more together, they get 0 out of 10. All of them. Bye. I just, I, I don't realize I'm peeing myself now.